I got the name Lil Peep because since I was a small baby, my mom has called me Peep. I don't know why, Peepers, Peep. Just, it's just what she calls me. Pretty much everyone in my life calls me Peep, so <laughs> Lil Peep. <laughs> I was born on Halloween night, November 1st. So I got that 11-1 also. Oh, so this is my relationship with my mom. I'm Lisa, <laughs> just screaming mom, you know, because whenever something's going wrong in my life, I'm freaking out. I call my mom on the phone, I stress her the fuck out. <laughs> Underneath here it says Hellboy. And that's my first mixtape that really caught people's attention and was very important to me. I read the Hellboy comics and shit, but I just love him as a character and I love the whole like idea. I think that movie is very underrated. First one I got is this big one right here. It's my mom's birthday and her initials, so that she wouldn't get mad at me because it was my first tattoo when I was 14. I got my grandpa. I got my mom. I got a friend tattooed on me. So yeah, I have a weird, you know, definition of family. It's not the same as everyone else's. Like I got my son right here on my leg. But my son is a doll that I bought at a store, and his name is Meep. I bought Meep a year ago now with my ex-girlfriend, and he's our son, and so I decided I had to get him tattooed on me. My boys with me. God, fucking, it's okay to cry. You know, it's same cool, man. It's cooling. Uh, we doing a show, bro. We hitting Denver up. You know what I'm saying? Scheme of posse. Shit, I've been working on music like six, seven, not nah, seven months, seven, eight months now. These are the these are the pr people who like when I didn't have any like fucking uh, followers and no shit like that. Like they were fucking with me before everybody else. You know what I'm saying? When like I didn't have any cloud or nothing like that. No one knew who I was, but. They like reached out and shit because they're fucking my music, you know. What was your first meeting with Jay Green like when he was like, "Yo, I want you to be in my rap group." What was, what was this conversation like? Um, it was, it was cool. I was really excited because I just started. Mhm. Mm and uh, it was. I was kind of worried about how I was gonna like fit in and shit. Right. Because yeah. my shit is more like light. Yeah. Less and he's dark. just mean as fuck and just screaming. Yeah, and shit. I'm not as mean as you guys. Yeah. That's good though. You need a little bit of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Let me hear the one without the snare. Hey, calm from this way. I'm from New York. I'm from Long Island, New York, but I'm all over the place right now. Like, I'm gonna be staying here, I'm gonna be staying in LA, you know what I'm saying? I just fuck with my friends, yo. It's like wherever my homies are at, like, you know, we all fuck with each other to the level where it's like, we just would let each other stay at each other's houses, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing like that, so we just kind of just go all over the place like that. It's just some family shit, bro. Yeah, it's just some not family not shit. Nothing other than that, bro. It's just some yeah, it's like different headquarters, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's an LA headquarters, and now there's a Denver headquarters, you know what I'm saying? But how we're going to do it is you guys are going to go on first, do your opening thing, and then, like, when we call, when we all come out, me, Jay, and uh, Ghost, I'm going to do them with you guys. Oh, bet. So it's like a segue into it. Yeah, like you guys do your shit first, and then once we all, us three come out, you know, I might do like I'm probably gonna do Beamer Beamer Boy like second. I don't know, but well, yeah. I, but my Whatever set, feel, bro. my set is gonna be our tape. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, bet.
blowing past here. Shout out to the Scooter Kids too, because I think that the Scooter Kids that we know from San Diego, Badger Clit, that's his real, that's his Shout name. San Diego. Shout out uh, and Tanner, they were the ones who put me on. They were like, "Yo, check out this Beamer Boy Badger song." Clit. That's lit. Badger Clit's his nickname. He's a Scooter Kid, but he, he's pretty cool. But shit, nice. Badger you guys going on Badger Clit? Follow yeah. follow Badger Clit on Instagram. What Badger Clit? Yeah, but he's he's the one who put me on a little peep. Oh, he did? I think so. I, th- I might have heard him before that, but I already knew you and shit, but I Shout think that he was the one who was listening to him. <laughs> okay. I got to rely on these young-ass kids to tell me what songs are hot because I don't got enough time to listen to every mixtape these days. You know? Right. Mm. Nah, I feel you. It's tough. It's hard times. I feel like I'm becoming irrelevant. <laughs> um, nah, but like basically, we're just working on uh, Ghost, working on some shit. Me and Ghost about to do some shit. Uh-huh. My next single going to be like uh, me and Pete. And then we're going to do a Schema Posse full member, like all 50. Okay. Shout out to the Schema Boys, Schema Posse, shout out Lil Peep, Ghost Main, and Jay Green. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Subscribe to us on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Uh, follow on some shit on Twitter and Instagram. And check me out, Adam22, all spelled out on the gram as well. Thank you, boys, for coming in. You're going to tear up Ham on Everything tonight. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, yeah. But Lil Peep is uh, playing with Larry June tonight at Ham on Everything. It means absolutely nothing that I'm saying this right now since this won't come out for like a week. It but matter at all. Fuck it. We out here. How did you guys all link together? Because how many people total are there in GBZ? Ten. Is it ten? Yeah. Okay. We all met. In ten. <laughs> it's a hard ten. Yeah, the doors closed. Damn. So me and Adam Strong came. Ten. I would love to join Goth Boy. Yeah, what's our what's our uh, entry? <laughs> we're a little older, so we're gonna start a Goth Man Click. Yeah, that's fine. Name them off for him. Say no. Horse head, cold Horsehead. heart, little uh, peep, yeah. little Tracy. Wicker Fizz, Friends Eternal, MacNed, Doves. Uh, Doves, Official, <laughs> JP Dream Thug, Yawns, 10. Yeah. Okay. And you guys... Yeah. We did say cold So when you guys first started linking up, uh, it's a laugh track, uh, was it... I know when like other rappers hear other rappers like shit that's like kind of similar, so was it like strange hearing other cats like, doing the same music as you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was like, like when a, I when I first heard like yeah. everyone hears music, I was just like, okay, like this aligns with what I'm doing now or something. It's weird, and we were all kind of doing it at the same time, so it kind of just made sense, I guess. Horses, is my dad. I was very inspired by horses. Yeah. Were you? What, yeah. As as when you were in Virginia, still is that when you heard Horsehead's music? Uh huh. That's tight. Yeah, and then we became roommates. Like pretty much, we had a place with Ned, and so we just became friends. And at the loft? No, nah, or nah. we had a crib in Boyle Heights. Like, what is that? Two, three yeah, years two ago? Years two, ago. two years ago or something? So you guys met, and then you knew but Col- that, but that Cold Hot be- before. But, but that was before Goth Boy. That was when you guys were in, you were in Thrax. Thrax House. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, Goth Boy Click was kind of probably a thing already, the early yeah. stages, kind of. Yeah, because that's what I remember. Cold Heart, I met through Ned Arb as well, though. Uh, so we just like randomly hung out with him one day. And then how'd you, how'd you guys link up with uh, Peep and Wicca? So Cold, Cold Heart knew Wicca, I guess. Yeah, through Tumblr. And then. Shout out Tumblr. Yeah. So that's the link to Wicca. I don't know. I met Peep through Horsehead. I and thought. I just Ned, yeah, I Ned told me through about him. Yeah. I don't know where I came Yeah, Peep, where'd you come from? I don't know. <laughs> he just popped up. Benzos. <laughs> because because I remember because I remember I remember Horse and Ned first yeah and I remember Soldier Witch yeah I, I, young bro RIP man I honestly don't remember <laughs> I'm here who are you I don't know it's weird <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, your music is very emotional yeah. and uh, people always cry to it and you know, yeah. find it really... Uh, what makes you sad and cry? Um, uh, so many different things. Uh, I suffer from depression pretty bad and uh, yeah, I mean, that just like a lot of things like pile on top of each other and just kind of like fuck with me. I think I'm chemically imbalanced. Well, what did you learn from school? when you was alone and uh, you hated people in school and you told people in school hated you. What did you learn from that? Most people suck. Most people suck? Yeah, most people suck. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not too lo long ago you've tweeted, uh, everything I love is disappearing. What is changing in your life right now? Uh, a lot. <laughs> I mean, growing uh, when you start to uh, blow up as an artist that starts to become, you know, more of a job and very like uh, mentally con consuming of the, you know, your thoughts. And but you're still everything. depressed. Yeah. Depressed. But for different reasons. For why? Uh, because you're doing great. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of different reasons. Uh, I had a pretty fucked up childhood. A lot of weird shit happened to me when I was really young, and I think it fucked fucked with my head. Talking about drugs, this is a tricky question. What are your favorite drugs like? Uh, my favorite drugs? Uh, weed, uh, Xanax, uh, Percocet, lean. Uh, used to be, I used to do a lot of coke, but uh, ecstasy, molly, pretty much everything. And talking about pills like Xanax and Percocet, does it really help with anxiety and? Uh, uh, the Xanax helps with anxiety, yeah. I mean, that's what it's made for, so it just calms me down. Yeah. Because in some of the interviews you talked about, uh, you were lonely playing Skyrim and shit, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. so <laughs> Xanax helped with that. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean it just kept me doing that like without, you know, fucking hurting myself. Have you ever had an overdose or something? Yeah, multiple times. And can you describe the experience? Just, I mean, I don't know, I fucking almost died a bunch of times. <laughs> When did things start to go wrong between the, the Lil Peep slash Lil Tracy best friends forever relationship that you guys had for a while? Well, I would say when it's just like me, I just can't be like a shadow. I'm a gang oriented type, type of person, you feel me? So it was just weird. Like when, when the, he was the only one that was signed. To okay. anyone, and it, it just started getting real corny. You feel me? Like all the new fans, they just didn't know the history, and I just don't have time for that. Like, I'm how'd you pop, guys? I'm a fucking pop. I'm a pop star. How'd you guys link up in the first place? Like, how did the friendship Ned, start? Through Ned. Through Ned. I think you should explain the history of GBC and where it stems. I mean, but. the history of GBC. Like, I was I was 17 when I first joined GBC, and today tonight I'm 22, mm -hmm. and I just left GBC. What, yesterday? Yeah, like two days ago. It was just like, we just been on this shit, all this rock star shit that y'all been seeing. All these new churns. This, that, and the third, everybody. I'm a rock star on this, that, emo shit. Like, niggas been on that. For oh, like five years. More, because that's when I joined. Who started the GBC name, Ned? Wicca. Wicca, Wicca face okay. It. And Horsehead and Coldheart. Okay, so they were the original ones, and was it was just them originally? Yeah. And then at some point they meet you, and were you uh, had Young Bra already died when you met them? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Okay. There was no Lil Tracy. There was no Lil Tracy. Okay. So you link up with them, and Lil Peep is yet to become part of this uh, the whole movement at the time. Nah. 
Okay. I, I think around that time he was uh, with Ski Move or something. I don't something. know. I'm not sure. I don't know. But, but yeah, good old I, didn't know, I didn't know. I, I wasn't sure that was yet. So then, yeah, yeah, because yeah, there was the scheme of posse with Jay Green and Peep and Horse and uh, Ghost Main, and then pretty soon after, like before that even came out, they had already dissolved, and then pretty soon after that, somehow Peep starts kicking it with you guys and the whole GBC thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so things were all good for a while. I mean, shit, things was cr- was amazing. Yeah. yeah. We was getting millions yeah. and millions of plays and doing crazy ass shows and like fucking. Yeah. Beautiful bitches and shit, just getting high. From okay, from my perspective, I always felt it seemed like Peep sort of had a lot of respect for you and always seemed to be sort of, you know, like he was aware of the fact that you had been doing this for a long time and that he had like taken some stuff from you, possibly stylistically. True or false? I mean, yeah, he yeah. was a fan. Yeah, he was definitely a fan of you, and you guys, you know, worked together on a ton of music. But I think, you know, definitely there were some things that you were doing stylistically that he was influenced by, right? I say that, yeah. Telling me you love me while we fucking in the backseat. Back at the club with the click, if you ask me. I don't wanna talk, I don't need friends. I'ma get a band, will you love me till the end? Love me while we fucking in the backseat. Back at the club with the click, if you ask me. I don't wanna talk. Okay, so do you feel like Peep did anything fucked up or were you just pissed off about sort of the way that the public was regarding it because they were, you know, it's always that I way. Mean, I feel like the only, the things that he, what was fucked up that he did was he just never, he never tried to like clear the subject. Like he just never said nothing about it. He just took it all and just when you get in a position where you have a voice and you don't speak yeah he didn't use his voice he you just you know what I'm saying you call us your brothers so. but you think he should have been promoting everybody in GBC more it's not even about it's not even about that bro it's just about if if a major fucking um whatever you call blog. it blog post a fucking I don't even know the, what the names of the shit just uh, enter a, you. a fucking shit and they only talk emo revival. They talking about oh, little people is bringing back, blah 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 blah. And they post a song of me and him, but they only talking about him. Like, mm-hmm. bro, you got to, you have to say something. Yeah, and you never said. But it. did it have to be a full breakup? Like, was it that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, there was no other. Fuck that. Where I'm from, like he I'm, basically dug his grave. Where I'm from, bro, this shit wouldn't even have been as. But when he says that you gave him multiple chances, do you did you tell him exactly how you were yeah. feeling? Just and he just, yeah. It's a lot of false promises. Like, bro, I know, I know, I got you. I know, I know. I agree with that, but you know, that's the oldest story in hip hop. That there's like there could be you know the whole. D12. It's like look, we talking about me and oh you P, but what about my what about my other brothers? Mm-hmm. What about Cohart? Right. We should be talking about how. Like some crazy shit that we doing. I know you love this, but there is no way you forgot about the way that I held your hands. Should we try again? Give it another chance. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Pouring red wine in a chalice. I sip slow, can't feel it on my fabric. You're like a switchblade cut right through me. I kinda like it though, baby, cut through me. Vampire in the club in the back now. Girls have me as their background I don't care though I want you to care though I cast a love spell Baby, you'll be back though Telling me you love me While we fucking in the backseat Back at the club with the click If you ask me I don't wanna talk I don't need friends I'ma get a band Will you love me till the end? Love me while we fucking in the backseat Back at the club with the click If you ask me I don't wanna talk I don't need friends
did it. I almost choked to death. Somebody tell Sus Boy Face Tommy I'm on the goddamn Xanax. El Paso, I took six Xanax and I was lit. I'm good. I'm not sick. I'm gonna see y'all tonight. Oh. Oh. Apparently peeps at the back of the bus doing press ups, sit ups, working on his six pack, his muscles. I'm gonna see for myself. Fans are mourning the loss of up and coming rapper Lil Peep. Tucson police say 21 year old was found dead on his tour bus before a show at the Rock in central Tucson last night. Authorities say Lil Peep could have possibly overdosed on Xanax. News for Tucson, Zach Briggs has been following this story all day. He joins us now from the concert venue. Zach. Yes, Allison, the young rapper was set to perform here at the Rock on Wednesday night, and although the official cause of death remains unknown, news of Lil Peep's passing has sparked conversation about the issue of drug addiction.
You were close friends with Lil Peep? Yeah. Yeah. That was sad, man. Yeah. That was fucked up. I I met him in in London and he's such a fucking good dude and he was really <laughs> he was really like such a good guy. Such a talented fucking dude and he was going to fucking change music for fucking ever and it sucks, dude. It sucks. I saw that yeah. video of him, like his last video of him with the Xanax. Oh, his friend was recording it. Did you see that? I, haven't, I didn't want to watch it. It sucks, dude. It's fucking sad, dude. His friend was recording that, huh? It sucks. It's fucking trash, dude. It's where people were saying that he committed suicide, but I didn't see that at all. Mm-hmm. He just seems like he took too many Xanax. Mm-hmm. No, no, it was cut with something. It was laced with something with fentanyl. And the girl who gave it to him is in custody, I guess. If you had seen Gus walking down the street, you might have been put off, scared even. You might have thought, what a loser, or yikes, I had better cross the street. (laughs) If you had known he stopped caring about school, you might have thought, what a loser, and I don't want my kid hanging around with him. He could get into some bad habits. If you had seen his filthy fingernails, you might have run away. (laughs) If you had made these judgments about this teenager, about this young man struggling, on his own to find meaning as a man, then I ask you to use this moment right now as a time to reflect on your actions. Ask yourself these questions. Do I really know this person? Have I sat down face to face and asked him to tell me about himself? Do I know what matters to him? Do I know what he values? What hurts him? What he loves? And why? Am I assuming this strange or scary looking person has no plans for himself? Have I asked him his plans? Am I dismissing this person because he does not match my definition of a good kid? Do I assume he does not work? Be honest, Gus was. Gus wrote a song about wanting to burn his high school down. He didn't like most of the adults there. He despised the social scene. I say most of the adults. Most, not all. Must everyone fit into the box? Why must we have a box? Who is this box for? Can we reinvent ourselves? Gus has left us with so much to think about and learn from. I want to thank you all for coming here today. Please do not make assumptions about people or events in ignorance. Do you understand what I'm saying? Try to step outside of your own box and open your mind to new ideas. My sweet little peeper is gone now, but he has surely left us a lot of wonderful material to review and consider. He has left me with new people to know. I am so proud of him. You have no idea. Get comfortable with me once I got it coming I love her, she love me, I know that I'm 